Let me tell you a story from a part of my life that was long time back. I had been married for a few years. My daughter was about three years old and... Hey guys, this is Simi Kher from Simi Real Estate, back with my Motivational Monday. And today I want to talk about something that we often say, I have that gut feeling. What is gut feeling? You know, science has proved that humans have a second brain in their gut. And if they have a gut feeling, it's something that you should always listen to. But it's very difficult to distinguish that feeling because a lot of time, fear also rests with your gut. And if you listen to your fear, then you won't achieve the results that you would. But gut feeling is a feeling that comes out of your gut. It's an instinct, it's an intuition. But most of the time, those intuitions are right and go follow your gut like I would say go and follow your heart go follow your gut I'll give you an example from my own life I've been always a very intuitive person and each time I've not listened to my intuition or my gut feeling I know I have gone wrong let me tell you a story from a part of my life that was long time back I had been married for a few years. My daughter was about three years old. And out of the blue, I had this gut feeling one day. I wanted to open a fashion boutique. It was such a strong intuition, something that I had not ventured out into ever before. But the intuition, the gut feeling was so strong that I spoke to my husband and I said, you know, I have this strong feeling if I open a fashion boutique, I would be successful and I would love doing it. My husband being a very methodical, logical person, he was, why don't you prepare a business proposal for it? Tell me, how are you going to be sourcing your stuff? Who are you going to be selling it to? And if you're able to work that proposal out, let's go ahead and try this venture of yours. To cut the long story short, that very day I worked out a proposal because I was so passionate about it. I was able to source, like completely work out the workflow of the fashion boutique. Within one month, my fashion boutique called Isha Creations was up and running. It's hard to believe I was probably 26 then. It was so successful that in the first month I was able to break even. And that was also the, my first part of venturing into entrepreneurship. I've had several ventures since then, but I listened to my gut feeling and I was hugely successful. So do you get all these feelings that drive you that there's a strong instinct and you want to follow it, but you stop yourself, comment below or DM me and I will look forward to reading your comments or helping you out. As usual, be kind, be great. I'll see you next Monday.